Enzo is a motion capture technology that basically looks at the club performance during the swing. These are the same kind of technologies used in motion capture in animation, uh, video animation for, uh, for movies, uh, for video games, but we're using it on a golf club and when um, they're attached to the club and it's swung, we can see exactly how the shaft uh, behaves as you swing. So that's a unique uh, ability to look into what's going on in this really fast uh, swing event. So Enzo is an eight motion capture camera system. Those cameras run at four megapixel max, a frame rate maximum of 2,000 frames a second. We're actually windowing that down to about 720 something frames a second because the data is just so high. Someone who swings about 125 miles an hour, uh, at the bottom of the swing, we're probably seeing a diff distance between frames of about three to four inches. Uh, so that's really a lot of data we're capturing uh, digitally. We also have two video cameras, one down the line, one face on, and those video cameras are synced. You can see the 3D overlay over the two-dimensional video. There's markers on the club that are located right below the grip, and also at the hosel, and then on the club head itself. From those, we could basically determine you know, what's, handle, what's happening in the shaft in terms of deflection and twist, and uh, what the handle's doing as you move it in space and rotate it, and what the club head's doing, where it's pointed, etc. Uh, we also, during the calibration, have a, a fixture that goes on the face. And with that fixture, we could basically determine what the loft is of the face, the lie, and um, we then enter also the bulge and roll, which maps the whole face contour. So for example, if you were to hit it on the toe, but square the club face, we would know that you were square and that the ball would most likely go right. A system like TrackMan would just think that your face angle is, is, is open when in reality it could have been closed and you just hit it in a different spot in the face. But the end result is knowing how the club head behaves based on what the shaft is doing. The club head, we want to move uh, with a, a fast kick going into impact. We also want to be oriented in the right direction to get the optimum ball flight. So by looking at how the shaft is behaving, we can see exactly how the club is uh, oriented at impact and what kind of performance you'll get. And so in fitting, you really can't just have one swing. We're really trying to fit to the player. And so if a, if a human can swing, we can actually measure his swing and then know what shaft is best for that type of swing. We can see how that shaft behaves for his swing. And that to me is a better fit. A robot, for example, you know, will load it a certain way and it's the same over and over. And it's, um, and it's not necessarily exactly as a human swings. It doesn't have the same amount of wrist rotation or release. It doesn't have you know, the, same kind of, uh, the same kind of load from the top. It's, it's, it's a different type of swing and uh, it may match a human somewhere, but that's just that one human. And there's a, there are a variety of swings and we wanna make sure that we have product that fits a variety of players. So when we go through the development process, you know, we'll make a shaft that, um, that gets, goes through a player testing, a player evaluation through several types of players with different swing types. And we gain from that knowledge whether that shaft is going to perform over those different types of swings. And of course, um, that's why we have different types of products to fit different types of players. It's a lot of information and it's things that we're still learning today because we're seeing things that no one has, no one has seen before. Uh, for example, measuring the kick of the shaft or knowing how much it twists or bends during the swing. Um, what we're doing with that right now in development is designing different shafts with different stiffnesses that we know exactly where they are and seeing those effects. I think in the past it's been, you know, fitting has been uh, simplified into saying things like, well, soft tips uh, equate to higher launch. And that necessarily is not always the case. Um, there's other things going on with the shaft and there's different types of swings and all those things can change the performance of the entire club. So we're still learning. Uh, currently Enzo is in our facility here at Fujikura USA. It's also in our fitting center in Tokyo and Ping has one in Arizona and they're all research at this time but obviously it has potential to become uh, one of the most incredible fitting systems I think.